all right everything seems to be in place so that's kind of cool hi uh i am shadow uh on twitch my name is shadowhawk underscore 69420 huh not a big choice of names not gonna lie but i mean it's me so i make I'm, I'm an indie developer. I make games for fun using Unreal Engine, and I'm, I'm setting for this. Alright, I'm going to be serious about this. So, as you guys may know, I've been working on a game called uh, Toaster Arena, which is technically a game inspired by Titanfall and classic shooters of like Quake and Doom, borrowing elements for from those games, like the arena type of gameplay elements like having weapon pads, pickups, collectibles in the same arena as you battle your friends. Game is very classic in its inspiration, uh, in the terms that speed is the main factor of this game. So I've been posting videos about it regularly. Not really, but I mean I posted two videos based on the development of it. Of this game. So I I went I, I, I have a job, so technically my time to develop this game is not as much compared to what I used to have when I didn't got, had a job back then. So my time, or the little time that I have to develop stuff like that, it's not that much. So I, luckily, on my, on my work area, they decided to give us a, at least like a couple of weeks for free on winter. So I decided to take those days to hopefully update the game more, add more features and stuff. Some of the things that I wanted to add was the little VIP mode, an infection, something like Halo pretty much, and some other modes and quality of life changes to make the game more fun and enjoyable. And I pretty much did all of that, except for the infection mode, I was like going to be later on. And pretty much I was at the phase when I was starting to polish out some of the elements. Then here's where things got bad. Um, my hand got my hands broken. Just ignore, ignore that fully. Like just ignore the hand. It's it happens sometimes. My I left my controller fell into the floor and it's, and then that just broke it. Oh, it's back again. Yeah, my hand's gonna do some weird poses from now on. Just oh, just ignore it. <sighs> I've been working on this game for more than four months and I had the fear of losing the progress on this game for like God knows why. So I decided to start using source control. If you don't know what source control is, it's like a cloud service that allows you to store projects into the cloud. So that way if you lose or you make a mistake or something, you still have access to it. That way you can like, it's like a, it keeps the project online so that way if something happens to your computer, you still have access to the project files and you don't lose anything. So this is where things got interesting. As I was uploading the project into the source file, I thought I didn't need to make a copy of the project, so I didn't. Then uh, after slowly realizing that my project files were getting deleted, it was just a matter of seconds before I actually dropped into the floor and started climbing. Because all of those four months of progress, fully gone. So I tried using a data recovery program, but the files that I found were corrupted. Especially the main components that I worked so hard on, I couldn't get to recover them, sort of to speak. So pretty much I lost the files to my game. And technically Toaster Arena is now fully dead. I can't do anything. I the only thing I can do is just fucking sit here. Regret all of those times that I wasted. All of those hours that I wasted staying up until 5 a.m. trying to fix issues, add features and stuff. All for nothing. And the other thing the only thing I can do right now is just probably start again from scratch I don't want to do that it feels horrible to be working on something that you pour your fucking sweat and tears into this 
fucking blood into this. Just to see it all gone in a blink of an eye. It's... It's not right. If only I would have saved my project before uploading into the cloud. Nothing of this would have happened. I would have been quickly bug fixing, polishing, and probably adding some new features into the game. And now it's all gone. Fully. I, I lost it. I can't do anything. So I have a couple of choices now of things that I can do. First one could be probably start again from scratch. I still have the assets. I still have the animations, model, texture. I still have everything. I just lost the code. I could restart from scratch again. Not really from scratch, but sort of. And try to recreate everything. Again, painstakingly, because it takes effort. It, coding a game is harder than it sounds, especially when things don't go as intended. Second option, do the same thing, but instead of making it a multiplayer game, uh, could be a single player game. I had this, I had this idea for like a little story for the game. It was gonna be a background stuff, but now the door's sort of open, I can probably do something in there. Maybe making the game from scratch, but converting it into a single player game. That's another thing that I could do. Uh, third option could be make some small projects. I was thinking of a physics ball game, but with an egg that could work. Imagine spending God knows how much into making something that's yours. And then suddenly in a blink of an eye, it's just, it's gone. It's no longer there and you can't do anything about it. It tears your soul out, consumes you. If I get to work on Toaster Arena again, it's not going to be a multiplayer project anymore. Because making a multiplayer game, all right, making a game in general takes time, effort, it messes with your head and frustration all the time. Making a multiplayer game is twice of that, especially when things don't work as intended. It gets worse and worse and it continues to go on and on and on and on and on. You fall into this deep hole that getting out of it is near impossible. And when you do, it feels great, but it lasts only for a short moment. And then you have to dive in back again because something new just happened. So if I ever get to continue on Toaster Arena, it's not going to be a multiplayer game. Not anymore. It's not going to be multiple. Not anymore. So that was, that was a big plan that I had. I wanted people to make levels for this. And I had and I had a solution that allowed you to use any editor version you wanted to have it compatible with the game. And, and I even I even had like map loading into it. All gone. All is gone. So I honestly don't know what to do. I could make a project, make another game. I could recreate it from scratch. Do any other thing. Word of advice. Make sure source control works before starting a project. And if you don't have some source control yet, when enabling source control, make a version, make a copy of your project before you're doing that step. Keep it somewhere safe and then do it. Because if something goes down with this version, you at least have a backup copy. Don't be me. 
I didn't do a backup copy. I got overconfident. Look what happened to me. I lost the project. All the code that I made, gone. I got some parts. I managed to recover some parts. I recovered the weapon system and some of the components, like the parkour system, but the main player class is gone. Some menu buttons are gone. Some other stuff is gone. Lost a lot. So, if you were looking into more development vlogs based on Tulsa Arena, I am sad to inform you that this is going to be the last one related to it. Sorry to break your heart here and to make your day sad. I wish I was more careful. I wish I had made sure things worked before going ahead. And I'm sorry to disappoint you all. I am Shadow. And I am deeply sorry for what happened.